hitch to hook onto. You guys get to meet the wife. Hi. <laughs> of course, I get stuck. Uh, we're gonna try to pull it out backwards. If that doesn't work out, we'll try pulling it out frontwards. Am I just? What am I doing? Just lightly, lightly press the throttle in reverse until you get up out of here, and then you stop. All right. Steam Chevy 1500 winch. Did a good job. <laughs> All right, now I get a lot of work to do. I was pretty impressed. Wallenstein winch pulled it out, no problem. I thought I was gonna have a little bit of a struggle at least, but it was uh, light work for that uh, piece of equipment, for sure. Looks like we got a good, uh, maybe nine, eight, nine inches probably. Be nice if it sticks around for Christmas. Been warm these days. That's why all these damn trees are sagging much weight on them lost power already uh, thank god it wasn't my power lines all right now we'll continue plowing hopefully we won't get stuck yeah no more messing around i got stuck twice i'm not getting stuck three times so we're gonna hook up the chains and uh Get this bad boy some more track. Definitely needed it. I should have put them on last night, but that's how it goes. I'll have to drive it and then readjust them. All right, no more messing around. We're all chained up. All four of them.
I tell you what, definitely should have put those chains on before. They uh, they worked a hell of a lot better. I didn't get stuck. Um, actually, it's almost impossible to get stuck unless you go in a ditch. But uh, I just wanted to show the. Uh, I'm so gr glad I did the metal roof. All the uh, snow comes right off. I think we got about uh, maybe maybe two inches of snow that goes on there before it falls. But what makes all this uh, possible is uh, is our Starlink internet up there. I don't know if you can see that satellite dish. That's how I'll get in signal. That's how I can post my videos. And it's pretty... Whoa, almost fell. I still got to side the uh, cabin, so... I just put that mount on there. Uh, basically temporarily. But that dish will rotate left, right, up, down. Um pretty interesting and it works great the dogs are loving the snow but yeah uh, very simple installation process other than mounting it and running the wire once you get your signal wherever you want to put it and you get a good signal you plug in your router and you hook up to your wireless internet it's pretty uh, straightforward it's actually a uh, pretty amazing how uh, simple it is Plug and play is exactly what it is. So if you're uh, in a remote area and you want to uh, get some uh, internet, so far so good. It's $110 a month, but you can do a lot with the internet. You know, I got Netflix and all that stuff. So we can uh, keep busy with that. We don't got cable. And our power lines, we never uh, prepped them for uh, cable or anything like that. So we got strictly just uh, power, no phone, nothing like that. So. The Starlink is just perfect for us. If I had more time, but I had this all prepped, stacked, cut, dry. But there's firewood underneath all that snow. Kind of upsetting, but it is what it is. I got a tarp down on the back there, drying some, and I got a stack here. So I got some wood, just not a whole heck of a lot. I'm sure I'll get some time. I can cut some more and. Uh, get it undercover, and then uh, I'll have more wood. All right, so I'm back at it here. It's a few days later from the uh, storm, uh, but I'm finally getting to plowing, shaved, cut my hair, and uh, we get a little Baxter for the ride. This is Baxter. He's about 14 weeks, and he's a pretty good dog. He's a pretty good pup right now. He's anxious. He wants to come out with me, but he's going to be whining, but you stay there. I was just checking out this trail here. The deer uh, came down this came down the rut from that tire track over there. My buddy uh, left his camp, and uh, it's kind of funny they traveled right down the rut, right down the uh, tire track. They came this way, and they must have turned around. But yeah, the snow looks beautiful, that's for sure. It's a lot of work, but uh, it definitely looks nice. And here, these these trees were covered. This this snow was really heavy, so. All right, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go get the plow truck and uh, plow this driveway and uh, widen it. Definitely needs. Definitely needs some TLC. Get in there, you. Get in there. Come on, buddy. Come on, let's go. Let's go. We gotta go. Get in. Get butt in there. All right.
Yeah, I cleaned out this area here because that's my skitter trail down there. I'm gonna get the tractor through here. And last year I waited too long, I could not make it in. There's too much snow. Uh, but we don't have any snow in the forecast, so I'm pretty sure uh, we'll be able to get down that trail uh, probably late this week. Uh, Friday, I think we're supposed to get some rain. I doubt it's gonna turn to snow. It's supposed to be like 47, crazy weather. Um, but after that, it'll probably freeze, it'll be nice and crunchy. I can get back there, no problem, my tractor, and uh, try to grab some logs. So we'll have that video coming up soon. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to finish up uh, cleaning up the uh, driveway and the road and uh, get it all set up. Um, and like I said, the snow looks beautiful here. And I definitely gotta take a picture of that. So. All right. Well, that's it for today's video. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll get to the interior in the next video. We got some sheetrock to do, and a million other things. So stay tuned for that. And remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button.